All right, guys, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I got a question, and it says, should I believe a woman that says, if you are serious and put a ring on it, and then you get king treatment? Absolutely not. What she's basically saying is she's going to go in a job interview and say, hey, um, if you guys hire me, then I'll do a serious job. And they're like, well, where's your resume? Oh, I don't have a resume. I'm just great at what I do. I'm wonderful. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Right? When women want to get, when men want sex and women want to get married, okay? The test of a man is being able to get a woman, right? Especially when you don't have anything. The test of a woman is being able to keep a man, okay? Women can get a man. That's that's life on easy mode. That has nothing to do with it, okay? So one of the things that you have to understand is as a woman, the final straw is her getting married. That means safety. That means security, Right? And a lot of it means child support, a lot of it can mean alimony, all these little extras come into it. A woman could be using your car for 10 years, right? you bought two cars, one, one for her, one for you. And then right? And then when you get divorced, she owns that, that car now. Right? You got have 100000 in your 401k before you even meet her. You get married, five years later you get a divorce, they'll go into your 401k and pull 50000 out. I've seen this happening, guys, in the laws. So you should be wary, nervous about getting married with a female, especially if she doesn't show you anything. Everything has, should be on point, guys. From the sex, like you, you should, when you get in a serious relationship, there are things that have to be talked about ahead of time, okay? Is she working? She expects you to just to pay all the bills? What's she going to do in the meantime? Are you going to have kids, right? You should be agreeing on most things like religion and children and the money, all these things. You can't be thinking about, you can't be thinking about building and she's thinking about spending, right? That's not how it works. How am I going to get with you when I got to do it all by myself? That doesn't make any sense. So when a woman ever says that to you, you got to put a ring on it. Nah, nah, if a woman's with you for years and then, you know, she'll throw little hints over there here and there about putting a ring on it or getting married, it's because she likes you and she desires you. But you have to look at the scene religiously. You have to look at what's really going on and be like, wait a minute, let me see what's really going on. Because she could just be like, hey, I want to marry him just to get money. You know what I mean? She knows oh, he's making money. He got this, this and that. Great. So you got to really read the scene. This is why I tell men it's important to observe. You got to get out of that blue pilled mindset, right? That's that that's dead weight. You got to look at the reality of women. Trust me, women are in business. Only men are in love. It's completely different, okay? So you have to look at the design. She's looking for a pre-selected high value male, right? The highest value male she can get. Maybe she can only get a seven. Because she partied her young years. Now at 32, she's like, I got to get with this guy real quick, man. I got to get something, right? She looks for a guy. He's usually a simp, a loser, right? But the last 15 years, he's been busting his ass making money now, but he's still a loser. He has no confidence in himself. Yeah, I'll get with him. I love him. She give him a piece. They don't even give him that. She gives, she pulls a little hair on, lets him smell it, right? And he goes crazy. All right, I'll do everything for you. Right? And then she got them controlled. Some of the best manipulators on females, some of the best ones in the world, will give you a piece early on and then pull back. And what will happen is that you'll, you'll go out of your way to get that again. And she'll make you jump through hula hoops and spend crazy money. I've seen it all. Some of this has played like the long game, you know. Um, but a lot of guys are like that where they fall, uh, you know, in, in, in tough times. Or they fall apart, no money. And then before that, women just break off. But if a woman cares about you guys and you messed up and you had a tough time, um, you lost your job, whatever it might be, she'll be there for you. She ain't just going to up and walk. That's not how it works. You know, she understands that, hey, things happen. We got to make it through. Her leaving doesn't even come into her mind. Right? She's devoted. She's loyal to you. That's very rare nowadays. A lot of you want to believe that. You want to believe that women are innocent and sweet and kind. Guys, there's so many statistics and data that shows the opposite. Women are the sexual choosers. If you run into a female, she got three kids by three different men. Look at her choosing capabilities. I think if you, let's put it like this. If you got two baby daddies that are bums, you should revoke your right to vote. Right? Because you obviously can't pick the right man. You don't know what you're doing. Right? That's the problem. You should have kept your legs closed. You messed up. But now the next man, he has to deal with all this. Now your body has changed. You're getting older. Your sexual marker value is declining. But women are under the impression, hey, I'm more valuable at 35 than I am at 22. That's crazy because I'm smart. Men don't care about your smart. I got money. I got status. We don't care. You could be a doctor, right? You could be a forensic scientist. You could cure cancer. And men will be like, yeah, I don't, yeah. She got eyes behind? Can she cook? 
There's women that have been left with bachelor's, master's degree that make tons of money for a woman that can just cook, <laughs> living off the state, and goes to church. That's it. And they'll leave that behind because it's a demeanor. It's the attitude. We're not looking for that. Even the Bible talks about that. Staying away from a contentious or quarrelsome woman. Nowadays, women are very abrasive, very argumentative, very masculine. In the corporate world, at work, this can work. You have to push and pull. Men are always in competition with one another. At home, if a woman doing that all day, she's going to come home. She ain't going to be able to do it again. Right? It's like I, I just had a conversation with a guy that's talking, getting with a, a female that's a lawyer. This woman argues for a living, and you're telling me you're having problems with her. Let that go. You're supposed to clap the cheeks and keep it moving. I don't care who they are. Right? She a gold digger. Sell them a dream and send them on their way. In, out, hello, goodbye. It's all routine. You can't take these women serious until something comes along and shows you, hey, I'm serious. This is what I can do. A lot of times what you're going to get from females is you're going to get the, a lot of women are going to be, um, they're going to, I want a man that this, that they have a whole story, like a whole list. Well, what are you doing for him? That's how a woman should lead off. Hey, I do this. I like doing this, this, and this, and this. All right. But I'm only going to do it for a man that's 10 out of 10. A man that's in the top 3% of men. Where are you going to get that? And then women don't even do that at 22 years old or at 20 years old. They're doing that at 38 after they got a bunch of kids and they're a mess. They're in debt. They, and then you're supposed to come in and just pay for the car and buy her a house. And then she can cook when she wants. See, everything with a woman, women don't want to be nothing to be measured what they have to do. They want your stuff to be measured. Like if a bill ain't paid, oh, you're not a real man then. You're a bum. You're a loser. Her stuff, oh, it's when I feel like it. Guys, women will leave marriages because they're not even happy. They'll split the house because they don't want to be proven wrong. So they'll split the whole family. That's crazy. So understand it. Her saying that put a ring on it and y'all just met. Like I ain't really been out like that a long time. After somewhat years, you can see if a woman's trying to. But if you if if you are in that position then, but be wary of getting married, guys. Nowadays, the laws are against you. So you better know who the hell you're married. You just don't jump the gun and get married in six months. Right? You don't even know how this woman behaves when she's a angry or irritated or she's menopause, right? She's on her cycle. You don't know what's going on. So get focused. And, um, you know, if it's something that you want to do, that's on you. But, I, you know, I'm not against necessarily marriage, but I am against men that just jump the wagon. And they get, they're like, they're like in full love mode, right? Love is the way. Love is the key. Love will find a way, right? They're like in this notebook. I used to work with this guy, right? I and mean, there was like 100 of us, 150 guys. And he used to work, look, listen to love songs 24-7. And he used to say, yeah, she's asking me for money. She brings her, her nephews over and they're bad. And they all, do, you know, attitudes, all kinds of houses a mess. He has no control because he's simping all the time in his head. That's all he's listening to. I mean, damn. Even Tupac even say, he says, listen, if you got a good girl, that's cool. If you got a bad one, you got to shake them and break them. Get rid of that. Ain't no way. Tupac in the interview said, I couldn't believe when a woman told me I'm too nice. A woman could never be too nice to a man. That is supposed to be like that. He is the king. You're supposed to be serving him and taking care of him. It's like taking care of an emperor. That's the game. And the emperor doesn't just fall back because he got balls and he's the boss now. He got to make sure he's doing his duty. That means taking care of the people, taking care of the family. Everybody is safe. Bills are paid. Things are handled. Problems are resolved. Right? That's the way, that's the, way the game works. And... People now, men and women are kind of against each other, right? We're designed to be complementary to one another. Instead of that, we're on versus mode. The government wants that, right? Because they pay more taxes. Send the women to school. Send them to get a job. Another person on tax, right? Get them in debt in schools. Tell them that you're fine being fat. Lizo, no problem. I'm so shocked, right? It's amazing how women will talk about Lizo, right? And be like, yeah, you go, girl, this and this. But if you call a female, wow, you look just like Lizo, now it's offensive. See, it doesn't make any sense. But this is this is the way it works out, guys. You know, pe they want you to look like that so you could be unhealthy, so you could be problematic, right? You go and the, you go to the hospital. Now it's pharmaceuticals, all pills and all this and that, and they could charge you. Every time you go to the hospital, it's bills up the wazoo. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Charging me $1,000 an hour? This is ridiculous. It's crazy, guys. But this is the way the game works. And I just want you to be clear on make sure that if she's not acting, how she should. Like, you can't just go in an interview and be a lawyer and be like, no, I'll do this and this and this when I get the job and make all the money. No, no, you got to come. There's prerequisites, right? You got to come with a resume already saying you're doing this, you're doing that. A man has to see what you're doing. 
with that mindset, a man should come in and be like, hey, I'll be masculine when you start acting like a real woman. Right? I'll start paying bills um, after we're together for a while. That doesn't make sense. You have to seek and this man take care of himself. It's just man focused and driven. His status, his money, his, is he competent? Is he resourceful? Can he figure things out? Right? Is he a nerd or a loser? And he likes everybody to walk all over? Is he a pushover? That's when you're like, oh, let's just be friends. Women don't marry those guys, unless you're a millionaire, of course. So that's the process, guys. Focus on that and make sure that she's doing her work before you even think about getting married. Before even the thought goes across your mind, you better make sure that one, above all else, she respects you. She respects your leadership. She respects your authority. She's working with you. She's not working against you and it's a, it's a firefight. I'm not saying you can't ever disagree, guys. Let's get real. Only the weak do not challenge authority, you know. But to be on my case 24-7, I got to explain every decision. Just do it. You always want to tell them, shut up and do it. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to explain myself every 24-7. But you guys are so wrapped up on making her happy that you don't make yourselves happy. This is where the problem comes in, right? You want to be Superman. <laughs> that's crazy, right? Guys, that S on your chest, that stands for simp. That doesn't stand for Superman. That's for damn sure, okay? Y'all got to stop this. Get focused. Get driven. Handle your business. Level up. That way you can get rid of these women that are... Broke it, breaking you down, slow, fall, you know, making you fall apart, driving you nuts. I've been there, guys. Women, you guys are drinking. They're staying up late because they're stressing over this girl. Guys, if it's no good, you let it go and you find something else. Learn to level up. Learn to communicate with women effectively. You got to learn the art of witty banter. Maybe I'll make a video on uh, like a James Bond, learning how to be smooth and cool and calm under pressure. Not the fake stuff you see. I'm talking about real stuff that works in the real world and why it works. Okay? All right, guys. So, guys, hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll go from there. Over and out.